What's up, guys? So, behind me, right there. Oh, no, no, right there. Here, right. Oh, I can't point. Oh, my God. I suck at the pointing. Oh, shit, basket. But right over there, uh, you see there. So, as one is right there, right? So, we got this. And this is, I saw a few more, but this is the one that I saw first. I want to make a video on. And is this whoever this person is, Willie Macho. Asman got canceled and is now deciding to clean his room. This is the best thing that Hassan has ever accomplished. I don't know much about Hassan, but I seen like a few videos about him and stuff like that. And it seems like he's like very like what is it communist and and very um in the whole thing with like I think he interviewed a terrorist and stuff like that. So I don't really like that dude. I think he's a piece of a piece of shit if he's doing shit like that, right? But, and then everything that happened with Aspen with that clip was because he was debating uh, uh, Hassan. So, um, now, the point of the video that I'm just making, just quickly, just my opinion, is that um, Aspen should have not apologized. As you see there, he has my plan moving forward, which is cleaning his room. I'm not sure if, if you click into it, it shows the, no, it doesn't. But they just got his, his, the screen. Uh, a screenshot of his video. I'm not sure that was the thumbnail. I forgot. And that was his biggest uh, mistake. That was his biggest mistake. He should have not said shit. I'll be honest. He should have not said shit. He should have not said sorry. He should have just kept with it. Because what he said, number one, what he said wasn't really racist or hate speech. I, I Honestly, a lot of people did not believe that it was racist or, or oh, hate speech. So if you get a lot of people that don't believe that, and I'm not white. I'm fucking Latino. So I'm Cuban. So it's not like I'm like fucking white, white, American type of shit. So I didn't find it racist or hate speech. That's one. Number two. He himself have always said never, never fucking um, apologize. There's many times I've seen videos and he was always saying never apologize. Ask man, why the hell do you apologize? Why the hell do you apologize? And, like, I, I saw one with Drama Alert. Obviously, all the Drama Alert right away was posting shit about cleaning his room. And then, why the hell did he mention the cleaning of the room? Like, why the hell, Asman, you don't have to change. You don't have to wait till... Asman, you didn't have to wait till this happened for you to decide to clean your room or to make this big change. You could have done that on your own without being vocal about it. Because the, the problem is that you were vocal at the wrong time. Let's say that you, in reality, saw what happened and you took it as, oh, shit, I should, like, tone it down. Tone it down yourself. Just don't tell anyone and don't apologize. Use yourself said it many times. Don't apologize and you apologize. I'm very disappointed in that situation and, and because you yourself always said don't apologize. You should have kept and stuck with your word. Forget people, you know, the backlash. You've been having backlash many times. And then the whole cleaning the, the room was like the icing on top for all these haters to now feel like they're better than you. And most of these haters are broke bitches, are people with no life, they are losers. And now they feel like they're better than you. And I'm very upset about that. And I'm not very upset because this, this is not going to uh, make me like lose sleep type of thing. But it's, it's upsetting because I watch you. And I can relate in a lot of ways because I'm an asshole myself. And seeing how you yourself, you you're a, you know not not only are you an asshole and a dick a lot of times, but you don't you're not outright like an asshole for no reason. You, you, a lot of times, for the most part, you you have a reason why you're being an asshole because people are stupid. And now seeing that you had to you know you end up apologizing is just I feel like you fucked up. And one of the things is like you always said it, ABC, always be cheating. Like you should have done that. Just fuck it. Just take your two weeks and then just fucking, if you're going to clean your room, clean it. Don't say shit. Maybe fucking do like a, a video for YouTube, especially of you cleaning your room. And, 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 and But just do it at a random time. You just upload it. Don't say shit. And people, that will generate you so much more views. That would have generated more views. You have made way more money. It would have come out of nowhere. People would have never known why you clean your room. They, they would have speculated. Oh, it was because he got banned. Or it was because of this. They would never know because you never confirm it. 
you just keep it to yourself. No one would have known if you cleaned your room. Maybe you pay someone else to clean it. To clean it. Well, sorry, they wouldn't know because you make a video out of it. The point is, like, you can't have done something better to even generate more views and fuck with people. And even if you yourself felt inside that you fucked up, we don't need to know. You know why? Because most of the people that really care about you, their our voices are basically like not heard as loud as the people that hate you. And all those people that do hate you and hate your guts, they're the ones celebrating this. They're the one being loudest and, and you're feeling bad and you're being vocal and all these people are just hitting you even harder because you apologize. So now everyone's like, you became a meme. And, and I feel like that was your biggest mistake. Anyway, now this is just something like, it's just my opinion, guys. Um, I do watch this dude a lot, Asman, and, and I just feel like he should have not. Like, to me, it kind of makes me feel like, damn, now watching him in the future, I know that he's probably going to be more like uh, scared to say, you know, speak his mind because now he got like, you know, that noose around his neck with all these, you know, people that like censoring and shit like that, just ready, you know, ready to tug him. If he says something out of place, he, you'll probably get tugged. I hope he goes back to being who he was with time. Obviously, not uh, the negative stuff to, you know, improve, obviously. Not, let me rephrase that. I hope he goes back to being how, like, the good things of how he was, but with improvement. There you go. That sounds better. But, um, uh, but I'll tell you guys, and this is true. And you guys are seeing it with Asman. Don't apologize. Unless it is something really fucked up that you really did. Like you go uh, and, and, and do something really bad to, I don't know, a, a minor or something like crazy like that. And you, you did fucked up. You should probably apologize, but not, not online. You apologize to a person privately. You don't never do this. Like, and it's, <sighs> apology sucks because it's just going to make it worse. You're only going to, and I'm sorry I'm rambling, you're only going to make people that are pieces of shit worth nothing, that have nothing to do with their life because they are the most garbage losers on the fucking planet behind their screen to just feel like they have the upper ground. Make them feel morally right. Like make they, they, Right now, all these people are all like, oh, oh, like they're all like enjoying themselves. And having this mental orgasm because they can't really even have a real or orgasm because asthma got canceled, something that they were dying to happen. And 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 asthma really, man, really should have not apologized. Anyway, asthma, good luck with with your stuff, man. I, I hope you you know you could return and everything. And obviously, you know, workouts and and your stuff because. Obviously, you know, you had health issue. Like Asma mentioned, he was having health issues. So hopefully these, this, you know, 14 day he got, he could like, you know, really change his diet, change whatever else he has to do. You know, he could focus more on himself. And then, and, and do obviously stuff that he's going to enjoy. But I just don't feel like it's right that, you know, now he has to change everything just because. He got canceled. He should have not done that. He should just tone down saying, you know, really, really bad stuff in the sense that you got to learn. Like, I haven't been, you know, canceled for something. Anyway, I'm too small. Who the fuck cares about me? But let's say I say something really, really bad that people misunderstand and I get canceled. Then I would continue saying the same thing, but I'll say it in a better way that wouldn't get me canceled. Like, I'll say it in a most more nicer way. But does it mean like if I say something that I really believe, unless somehow I cha someone changes my mind with, with with you know with facts or whatever the case may be, or my own experience, then I will not stop saying it because I get canceled. Because just because you get canceled doesn't mean that the people canceling you are right. So that's how I feel. But anyway, again, don't want to ramble too long. I already rambled for too long. Um. Good luck, Asman. And uh, yeah, guys, I that's just my opinion. I'm not sure what you guys think. But yeah, if you're trying to be a content creator in the future or something like that. If you are not in the wrong and you really, really genuinely 
don't see yourself in the wrong. Do not, do not apologize. Look, Mr. Beast has done it. If I'm not mistaken, unless I haven't been in the loop, but I don't remember Mr. Beast apologizing once. He just kept going. And no one's even talking about Mr. Beast like that anymore. And I'm pretty sure his videos are still doing pretty good, if I'm not mistaken. So correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, that's, that's what has me shot done. Anyway, see you guys. Love you guys. Super singing. We're out.